Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be having a bit of a chat with you about where I'm at in life and where I want to take this YouTube channel. Um, and it feels really weird to be sitting here on my bed again because I used to do this five years ago. I actually started out on YouTube like doing little DMs um, on my bed and it was trending at the time. So about five years ago you would scroll through your YouTube feed and a lot of the videos were just people with their cameras sitting in their bedroom just having chats. I remember watching like Zoella and she started out in her bedroom and um, yeah, it's really, really interesting to see how YouTube has evolved and how these days like I've been doing a lot of um, crafty videos where you mainly see my hands and I wanted to, yeah, chat with you guys about potentially leaving YouTube for a bit. Um, a lot of you guys who are subscribed to my YouTube channel will know that I went on a month break and I've just come back. I've made two videos and my last video I don't feel like I really put my heart into it like I used to when I used to make videos. I felt a bit flat and a bit like creatively drained. <laughs> um, I just finished off my exams. I finished my first year of my course. So I'm doing a bachelor's degree um, arts therapy and I just finished my first year and I always wanted YouTube to be my career. Like I love making films and I still do. I still love making little snippets like films um, for Instagram and I got on TikTok for a bit because I just love filmmaking and I still like making videos and like my Patreon but YouTube I've kind of felt a little bit flat. So when I first started out it was so exciting to make videos because my channel was just beginning and starting to grow and I went through a period where I had like 350 subscribers for an entire year and I just worked at it and then after I started making more like crafting creative videos I started building my following and it was a lot of fun. I then started getting into like the groove of what kind of videos I started ma like making so I started making like a lot of crafty pen pal snail mail videos and I had a lot of fun with it. I would do voiceovers, I would take um, the camera out and vlog a lot. I would also vlog in like different countries when I went traveling and it was just such a fun time. So this time last year I was getting like thousands of views a video so sometimes I would get like 25,000 views and I would easily be able to post a video and my videos would start getting thousands of views within the first few weeks. So it was so exciting to see that my ideas really took off and a lot of people connected with them. I just loved seeing my ideas come to life, editing them together, uploading them and just seeing so many people liking what I was doing. So it's really hard to see my channel stop growing and not even stop growing like it stopped completely. It started going like backwards like people started unsubscribing for a bit and I was rarely getting new subscribers, comments, like likes and everything would go down and then my video views would just go down. So from getting like 20,000 <laughs> views on videos, um, I started getting about a thousand and that would just max at a thousand and then recently I would post some videos and they would max at like 400 views a video and it's really crazy to think that I've got 25,000 subscribers and that I'm not getting the views and it's not all about the views so it is about the creativity for me. I make videos that I want people to be inspired by them. I make them because I want to create and craft and experiment and all those fun things. But I think doing YouTube for five years and just thinking that I have to consistently be staying on trend and thinking of new ideas and knowing that my videos are like going downhill, I've been like, my heart's been like not in a lot of the videos lately and I really want to know from you guys what's changed, why maybe um, there's been less people watching. I actually looked up the st statistics and 70% of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. 
So if you're watching this now, please subscribe to this video, I mean to this channel. I do put a lot of time and effort in creating videos for you guys on a, well before I went on a little mini break, I was making two videos a week and um, now I'm just going to be making one video a week until I get into the groove of things. But like I said at the start of this video, I don't know if I want to just go off YouTube altogether have like time to think about where I want this channel to evolve and maybe come back. I don't know. I would love to know in the comments how you found my channel, why you subscribed and what you love about my channel if you consistently come back. I know that a lot of people say they like my voiceovers or they like the snail mail tutorials or um, that they like just listening to the relaxing music that I put behind. So there's lots of different factors. Um, I love doing community projects so lately I've been doing my mini mail challenges and in the past I've also done like um, I think it was journaling for an entire month of September. So I think it was called like Art Sep. Oh, I'll find the hashtag. <laughs> I'll find the hashtag and I'll put it in the description box if I remember. Um, but yeah, I've loved doing community art projects. Like that's something that I find a lot of fun. And I hope you guys like them too. So maybe I can take a step back and think of more community art projects to do. I love hosting things on my Patreon. So I would love to continue growing my Patreon. If I take a step back from YouTube, I can then focus a lot more time and effort into making content for my patrons who have subscribed to my Patreon. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's really disheartening to see like a huge growth in my channel and then all of a sudden it just stops growing. And I think the biggest thing is I'm someone who looks at statistics like all the time and I compare myself to other people. So I'll be looking at like all the other snail mail, pen pal, crafty channels and I'll see them post a video similar to something that I've post and then see that video just take off and lots of people liking and loving it. And then my video just not doing much. I'm like, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> is there something I'm not seeing? Am I not? putting that love into the video. Like when I film a video, I usually spend the whole day, I'll make sure I film at the right time of the day. I'll then like go into my craft room, pick out what I need. I'll do the tutorial and then I'll spend the rest of the afternoon slash night editing. So I take like an entire day out each week. And before I was taking two days out each week so that's a huge chunk of my life if you think about it to dedicate to YouTube which essentially is a free platform um, so thinking that I was producing or editing filming and creating two videos a week every week and I would be dedicating that time to YouTube and then just not seeing the return I was so disheartened um, before I went on my little holiday, every time I'd post, I'd be like, oh, it's declined in views. <laughs> um, especially when I've been doing it for five years and I have seen growth. So it's not that I'm not grateful for you guys who do come back every week. It's just that I feel like when you put all that time and energy into something and it starts slowly declining, like things start slowly declining, you start losing that like excitement that comes with it because it does it's like a little reward at the end of the day and not only do you lose the excitement of seeing things grow and evolve it's that you I see less brand deals or I see less um, opportunities to take it into like a career space so if my video, if my channel continued to grow, then I would be able to do things with that um, view count and revenue to then expand even further. So knowing that it's like slowly declining, it's breaking my heart. <laughs> um, and I just feel like, should I give it all up? Should I just say goodbye to YouTube and take like a year off? <laughs> 
Or should I continue making videos and try to figure out why maybe I'm not hitting the right mark for like the last six months? Um, so I'd love to know from you guys. Like you guys are my, the reason why I do this. I'm not just making videos for me, I'm making videos for you. So please let me know in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I do have one video planned for next week and it's going to be like a business video for small business owners. It's gonna be like how to's, what to expect kind of thing. And I do have that planned for next week. So I will be posting that video. And then after next week, depending on the responses from this video, I might have a little break. So I'll let you guys know in the community section what, what's going to happen. But I just thought I'd put all that out there, share what's going through my mind. I've been wanting to say this in a voiceover that I've been feeling like I just compare myself to other people too much. And that's really been like taking a toll on filmmaking and having a YouTube channel. Um, but I thought I wanted to do it like face to face. When I say face to face, like I'm talking directly to the camera and I know that you'll be sitting on the other side <laughs> all around the world. Um, and I really don't want to give up YouTube, but I know that it's taking so much time and energy out of my life. And I put my heart and soul into some of like the ideas I come up with. Like when me and my sister get together, we make things and then um, I'll have the best like creative ideas for what we're going to create and how I'm going to edit it and piece it all together and then I'll be so passionate I'm like oh my goodness people are going to love this video and it's going to get shared around and um, hopefully a lot of people are going to be inspired and then I'll post it and the video will just flop sometimes and it'll be like I have a channel of 25,000 people and like 400 people watched it and I didn't get a lot of comments and I put my heart into that. Like, I say like a lot, like, oh, this video is gonna go so well and people are gonna love it and respond. And then just not seeing the response, it's really like, I don't wanna do that again. I'll just do what I usually do. And then doing what I usually do, which is usually like snail mail videos and pen pal opening videos, that's when I can be like, I've done this so many times, I'm getting exhausted of doing this. So I would love to maybe make more business content but I know that a lot of you guys who have subscribed really do love the snail mail stuff. So if you love the snail mail um, videos, please share them. Please subscribe. Please let me know what you want to see. Do you want me to be making like elaborate flip books? Do you want me to be doing different themes each week? Do you want, do you want voiceovers? Do you want me to be chatting with you? Or do you want it to be silent? I know that... I've been pondering about that for a while because when I make voiceovers, um, sometimes I don't know what to say. Like I'm always like, oh, people are not going to be interested in my life. All I did was go to uni this week. But I know that if I talk to you guys about personal things, I need to make sure that I'm not disclosing too much um, because I, some things I want to keep private and some things I know I shouldn't put on the internet. But then at the same time, I want to be open with you guys and talk to you like you're a friend. So conversations that I would have with my girlfriends on the phone, like I would like to share those things, but I don't know if you guys are interested. Um, I think I'm rambling on now. So I might say goodbye to YouTube. Um, at least not forever, maybe for a bit and have a bit of a... I think about it and another big reason why is because I want to focus my time and effort into my new projects as well so I'm finishing off my I finished off my first year at university so I'm starting to get into placements so work placements I really want to put more focus into get maybe some more volunteer work placements and I've also launched a stationary subscription um, box and package so I would love to grow that business and I want to put some more time and effort into Patreon and really give over to the people who are financially supporting me because without that financial support um, I can't make free content so I hopefully will continue this channel after I have a bit of a think about it but 
depending on how this video goes, if I get a lot of responses of what needs to be changed and then I action it, um, then yeah, we'll, we'll go from there. Let the guys know in the comments, have a chat with me. I'm, I always read all your comments. I don't always reply to every comment, but I do read every single comment. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I will be making a video next week. And then after that, I'll update you guys on the community tab. Thanks for watching today. Bye.